Wait a second, who is this guy? Why is he on a hand cycle? And when is this anyways? Let me take you on a little journey of making the one-off DC model way back when years ago. By the way, I have graduated to work boots now. Time to prepare the brackets here. See how close we got there. It's done, but I made a couple mistakes. All the welding on one side pulled this in, so this isn't completely straight. Uh, it bends in. So next time I should have kept the keep the bolt in there, probably while I'm welding it, and maybe not do so much at one time. Pretty good. Here's my somewhat lame attempt at making a fish mouth cut. Just a piece of paper, I cut a, a arc in it, and we'll see how close it comes. So I'll just pop it on the end here of this thing. And just draw along this line here. And then grind it out. I'll first just kind of cut a triangle out of it and then cut the rest out. That looks kind of like a fish mouth. Let's just grind the rest out. Uh, looks like this fish had a little too many teeth. I'll try to fix that a little bit. into a steering arm. Guess there's lots of ways you can make this uh, tie rod thing that is bore out a nut and weld it to re-rod. Steering arm is done on just had his first child and is married and the guy pushing is my 13 year old son. mounted these cross beams um, I guessed at this one about six inches behind the front sprocket 
and this one should line up just so the middle sprocket misses it. I want to put in a, a little gusset of some sort here. I thought I'd just put it on here since I've got that mess there. Oh. Well, they'll kind of kneel down. So I threw a, a couple sprockets on and chain on. We've got a, a 28 tooth and a 52 tooth in front here. And I think we're at 44 and 34 in the back here. Um, I haven't tested out yet how it's going to work putting it onto the, um, the low gear there. But I found out that these, these cool little uh, hooks that I want to keep on there for style are really going to get in the way. You can see that it actually hits when you churn. So I'm going to have to cut those off, make them a little bit shorter. I took a plastic bottle here, cut it into a half and then into quarters. And from that quarter piece, uh, bent over one edge, added a little clip here. And this attaches on here. It seems to work to kneel on. I just need to put a seat of some sort, but you can kneel like this. Now next is the chest support and cutting these off. kind of support for the transmission hump, I'm thinking, something like this. After a long hiatus, I got a little inspiration for a seat here. Um, I still need some sort of transmission hump, but I welded together some little bracket here that I can put a seat on top of. Finally making a little progress again, I've got a a little seat there that I'm going to put a cushion on top and then I put in these little braces and I'm going to use plastic jugs around these yellow jugs to make that into the transmission hump. This will be the rack for the back. It sits on something like that and I'll put a sheet on the top. i got the rack on the front and now I need to figure out some sort of system for Tying things down. Maybe a little rail here or something like that. Putting some final welds on this after a long time of not working on it. And now all the left is left is some grinding, painting. There it is in all its ugliness. It's not pretty. A lot of these joints are not really nice. But it's all ground out. Now I just have to brush it and paint. Freshly painted and ready to be put together right now. Some more memories. This little kid here is now my main apprentice. And this little girl watching me is almost a teenager.
there you have it. It's complete. I really did it just to see how it would work. And I uh, was approached later by some guys who bought it for um, a man who can't use his legs in Senegal. And apparently it's still in action. I think this is about seven or eight years ago. <laughs> There it goes. Off to a village in Senegal. May it bless the owner.